love opening presents. I have brought you two here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. <laughs> and his challenger. A huge murderous robot shaped like a squirrel. Look, it's a giraffe. Uh, I think I need to get home to feed Gary. Great Barrier Reef. SpongeBob has an opening, but will he get the drop on the robot? Now the robot's taking a beating out there. The robot better change tactics and fast. I want to play. I want to play. Can't think we're not playing. We're fighting for our lives. I want to play. I want to play. Oh, all right. The old clothesline Ouch. move. That's much better. Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here. What a shocking takedown by Patrick. Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here. Oh, nice flying, uh, head thing move by Patrick. Oof, the robot's hey, losing his funny. head. Wow, I've never seen such an electrifying oh, match. That was fun. Your turn, SpongeBob. Oh, ah, uh, we. Spelling the old clothesline move. Yeah. Feel like a new sponge. Ouch! Fresh like a spring breeze. Nice move by SpongeBob. This match is just about over. Feel like a new sponge. That's a bubble bash opportunity if ever I've seen one. Well, <laughs> that was quite a battle. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. But wait, there's more. A golden spatula, and that's not all. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you. It all means so much. I... I... I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you 
want. But not here. We just wax the floors. Hey, Plankton. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly, and as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way you won't hurt yourself, and you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. Not thinking, not thinking, not thinking. Hurry up, I've got big plans to proceed with. It shines. I love opening presents. Let me teach you how to bowl a bubble. Press this button and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wow! Remember though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. Bubble bowling is an important skill to master. Remember to press this button. I won't forget, Bubble Buddy. I absorb information like a sponge. Coming through, fresh like a spring breeze. Treasure chests looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. Daddy, your tree dome is leaking. Them there robots busted up the blast. SpongeBob, I got a treehouse chock full of robots and it's all your fault, so get in there and clean up your miss. more than me.
little boy, my heroes. Hit me with a water ball. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Eh, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Good be. Hey, Sponge Kid, you really want to help out? No oh boy, would I? Okay then, uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy. Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? Is it the TV repair kid again? Maybe he can rub my feet. Ew. Kid, if I were you, I'd get going fast. Opening presents. Oh, sparkly! This is a Bikini Bottom news update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor, Plankton, has released the following statement. Hear me now! I'll crush you all beneath my... And now, back to your regular programming, Retirement Home Girls Gone Wild! Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Barnacle Boy. Ah! You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes, a bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them. Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday, and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! Go see the computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. It's 
not just any sponge, it's Super Sponge, soaking up crime. Fresh like a spring breeze. Hammer. I get it. You've just met the Sponginator. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. Bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. I feel like a new sponge. The Mermelair. Secret Fortress of the Wrinkly Superheroes, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy.
Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, police. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! Ah, uh, SpongeBob, how do I get out of here? Well, that depends. Do you want the booby-trapped or the non-booby-trapped exit? Non-booby-trapped, please. Then go that way. <laughs> or maybe it was that way. You're my hero. Hey, you're yellow. When did that happen? a job for somebody who can throw things. Leave it to us. I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw, throw oh, the throw through fruit? No, throw the throw fruit. Throw the tofu. You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode! Is the television fixed yet? All you have to do is throw one throw fruit into each of those funnel machines. Get some sleep. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hey, I know. 
know you! You're that guy! Hmm. I'm gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. Do you think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. Oh wait, he never wears pants. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. Well done. Now there's enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. Here, have a golden spatula. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Now, how to get some bath salt? like a spring breeze. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. Let's <laughs> go. 
laundry. Opening presents. It shines. I feel like a new sponge. In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the normal air. The first one is here. Press the buttons! Got it! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here! Got it! Are you listening to me? Listening! Got it! SpongeBob, press all of the security override buttons throughout the Mermelair. Then return here and press the master shutdown button. I see you've made your way down to the deepest recesses of the Mermel. Wow. Oh, you took the elevator. Well, how do I get to the top of this room? Wow. You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. No time to talk, Gary. I'm on an important mission for Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Wow. I don't think he needs a hand.
Blue Sponge. Nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. Ow! Too pretty. Can't take it. Here, boy. Here, boy. Like a new sponge. like a spring breeze. I feel like a new sponge.
I don't think he needs a hand. You just met the Spongeinator. Like a new sponge. There's nothing like a smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. Look, boy, there's gold under that glass. Gold, I say. My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it. All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. My wallet's counting on you. In order for the ball to reach the end, you'll have to move the pieces of machinery along the track.
boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. Well done, SpongeBob. Now, how's about giving old Mr. Krabs that shiny gold? I'll give you a promotion. A promotion? Sure. You'll get a whole extra 10 seconds added to your break time. Woo! 20 second break! Do I dare? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. As enticing as that sounds, I can't give this to you. I need every golden spatula I can get. I understand, boy. I'll just dock 30 seconds from your break time instead. Whoa! That means I have a negative 20 second break. Thanks, Mr. Krabs. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. Fresh like a spring breeze. I 
Feel like a new sponge. I have regained control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. system has been shut down and we got a good checkup hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory yeah well justice boy you also cut the power to the mermelayer's bcs that's villain containment system is that bad does mermaid man smell like sour milk yes yes i do oh no it looks like one of the villains is broken free what's that an evil doer on the loose who is it? Man Ray? The atomic oh, flounder? Oh. The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn. Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of now driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Everything I own turned pink. Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man. You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man! like a spring breeze.
not again! This is not fair! I got a frozen wedgie for this! Is this the end of Prawn? Prawn is safely locked away again, thanks to you, Frankie. My name's SpongeBob. Here, I found this in my sock drawer, next to a bunch of pink socks. It's another golden spatula. Thank you, Mermaid Man. I shall always live my life by your shining example. Let goodness and kindness... Are you still here? like a spring breeze. should go help Mermaid Man. He's in the villain containment area. Checkers, the king of non-contact sports. 